Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I'm coming at you with another Titanic themed video. You guys really seem to enjoy my Titanic themed content, which makes my heart happy. So I'm gonna be making so much more Titanic content for you guys to watch. Um, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my part two to my Titanic collection. I collect Titanic memorabilia, if it isn't obvious already. Um, and I collect as often as much as I can and I've added some really really awesome pieces um, That I'm excited to show you in this video um, If you guys have not seen my first Titanic collection video be sure you do because those are where all the really really fun stuff is at like the heart of the ocean necklace um, the whistle uh, the, Some of the other costumes that I have It's really cool and if you guys have not seen my um, try on of this outfit right here, I'm going to link that down below and at the end of this video as well, so that way you guys can see what it looks like on. But this video, I'm going to be showing you guys some other memorabilia that I've collected that I found really fascinating, and I know if you're a Titanic fan, you're going to find these fascinating too. So let's go ahead and crack into my collection. All right, so we're gonna start off strong with something super cool, and it is actually a piece from the movie Titanic. Um, it is a movie prop tile from third class, tile number 788 out of 995. Let's just, let me just show you, it's so cool. Okay, so this is the tile that was literally used in Titanic for the flooring of third class. So it would go on the floor like this. Leonardo DiCaprio probably stepped on it once. I don't even know. <laughs> um, but here is the front and back. It has the number um, of what tile it was out of the lot that was auctioned off. Um, it's like a beige color with a black and beige symbol. I'm not quite sure what the right word for that kind of symbol is. Um, but it is very lightweight and very thin. It is of um, like a chipped wood mesh. Um, but yeah, super lightweight, very thin, and it came with a certificate of authenticity. Here it is right there. It reads, this certificate of authenticity guarantees that this is an authentic movie prop made to be used in the movie Titanic. Salvaged from Rosarito, Mexico, where Titanic was filmed from the James Cameron film Titanic. Super cool, I love it. It's so awesome. When I get my own place, I want to like display this really nicely and like, um, cause I want like a library in my future house and I wanna have like Titanic memorability displayed in the corner of a like mini library. So yeah, but for now it stays really safe in this little um, cardboard piece. So that is the first one. So the next part of my collection are two third class contract tickets. So this is where you would put in all your information of like who's gonna go with you, what their ages are, what's the ship, on what day is it gonna sail. Um, it's a white star line, Royal United States Mail Steamers third class passengers contract ticket. Um, so this is what you would have been received if you were interested to go on the Titanic, uh, specifically for third class. Uh, so let's get a close up on the detail. And be sure to really go and read what the ticket says because that's the most fascinating part about it. But in a nutshell, it is a contract ticket. So this is like saying like, yes, I agree to being on this ship. This is how much my luggage is going to weigh. Here's my name and age. Um, and this is specifically not a Titanic ticket. It is a White Star Line ticket. So you would write that you want it for Titanic. You would fill it in uh, right here. It says ship. You would write Titanic. Um, so it wasn't... Um, a ticket that was like, here's a Titanic ticket contract. It is a, here's a White Star Line ticket contract, and you fill in the blanks of what ship you're looking to board. It's so cool, because right here it says, Joseph Bruce Ismay. If you've seen Titanic, you know who that is. The largest moving object ever made by the hand of man in all history. All right, so now we're really getting into the fanny type uh, merch. 
and this is the rose doll that came out this was gifted to me by the same person who made my necklace and he made me a miniature version of the necklace for this doll which was so cool thanks michael um and yeah so this is a doll that came out for the film promotion she's wearing her jump dress this is the dress that she wore to jump a ship right when she was meeting jack this is just a little fun extra thing I wanted to show you because I didn't have this before in my last one. Um, but let's go ahead and move on to the next fan memorabilia. Of course, for my record player, I have the record version of the soundtrack, which is so beautiful. I'm going to show you. It looks just like the Heart of the Ocean because it's blue and it's so cool. Oh, I should not be holding this record this way. Hold on. Ugh. How cool is that? How cool is that? And it has their picture in the center right there. Um, so those are my more fan-like merch um, that I have. And I'm gonna show you the coolest, well not the coolest, that beautiful thing is the coolest. But this one's pretty cool too. I'm gonna show you the last and final um, part of my collection. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna fit this into the shot. <laughs> Um, so, this big thing is the original movie poster for the movie. This was literally inside of a theater at some point, advertising Titanic. And is this not the coolest thing ever? I'm trying to collect original movie posters of my favorite movies, so for my future place I have pretty much my own like mini theater wall, <laughs> but um, I'll show you it on my wall. Let me put this back on the wall and I'll bring the camera over and show you what it looks like on the wall. <laughs> Alright, so we are all done. That is my entire Titanic collection up to date. Um, I'm definitely going to be getting more, you know me, hoarding and stuff. Um, I want to get more, but I'm looking sp for more specific stuff now because I have all the main things that I, I've been wanting all of my life. I have the Heart of the Ocean, I've got the outfits. I do want to get more of Kate's outfits, preferably the blue flying dress and the jump dress. So I'm on the hunt for a replica of those. I'm also more so on the hunt for um, historical and or original pieces, either from the movie or from the actual shipwreck. Um, so I'm going to be looking for more of that, but it's going to take me some time to look and find that kind of stuff. So when I do, I'll make a Titanic Part 3 video. Um, so make sure you subscribe in case that happens, which should happen quite soon actually. And uh, yeah, I really hope you guys like this video. If you guys want more Titanic content such as maybe fun facts that, that are fascinating or um, me dressing as Rose or I don't know, like give me ideas of stuff that you want to see so I can make content that you are excited to look forward to. Um, so make sure that you like and subscribe so I know that you guys like this kind of content um, and comment down below any ideas that you may have for future Titanic videos. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you guys in the next one.